Hello everyone, my name is Soulmonger and I'd like to welcome you all back to more Sonic the Hedgehog. We are at the Marble Zone, the place with the best lawn ever. Even with bricks as the soil and lava underneath it. Hmm, explain that one to me, Robotnik, explain it. And here we have my most hated enemy, proving himself why I hate him so much. You can hit him in the face and sometimes it just registers as a spike. Maybe you just got ugly slammed, or you just bumped your ugly into his- Well, let's, let's not go there. It's We just started this, but we hit him, and it hurt us quite a bit. At least he gets hurt when we hit him, even though we got all our rings taken from us by a little caterpillar with spikes. I mean, come on. Come on. Who invented such a devious creature? I mean, he doesn't even have the power to turn into a beautiful butterfly. He just crawls back and forth, going, ow, ow, ow. Ugh. The worst enemy ever. So, the Marble Zone, this is an interesting place because there's lava. I don't like lava. Nobody likes lava. Lava's just above water in this game, as you can die from it very, very quickly if you are not careful. So, we're going to have to be pretty careful. I don't think I can get up there. I thought I would try, though. I don't know exactly where all the secrets are, so I'm going to be pretty thorough when checking all this stuff. And this is when the game, in my opinion, kind of slows down a little bit. You get, like, the first zone to go really, really fast, but then you get Marble Zone, and you're like, Oh, 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 <laughs> what are all these creatures and lava and slam things and spikes and, like, little puzzles you gotta do. It, it feels a little bit different for a creature, as in the hedgehog here, who is notorious for being fast. Only in the game, not in real life. Hedgehogs aren't really fast. But, either way, we're going to play the game, Oh, how it is with evil spikes everywhere, and these shields are going to be very, very helpful. When you get to, like, Sonic 2 or Sonic 3, there's a lot more opportunity to go fast, mainly because you can press down and, like, speed boost and roll and hit enemies from the front as you're going into them. You don't have to rely on your jump to kill enemies. In this game, you cannot do that, so you have to be a little bit more cautious. Sonic the Cautious Hedgehog. And I'm going to do my best here not to die. Whew. This is a zone that I wouldn't really play too often when I was younger. I played this game like over a hundred times. My neighbor owned it. I owned the Super Nintendo. I had the Mario and all that stuff. The Zelda. And then my neighbor had this. Earthworm Jim. Toe Jam and Earl. And then like the rest of the Sonics. Like 2, 3. And I played them over a hundred times with them. I remember the first time we beat it we were like... Do we just do that? Do we just do that? We were like, just jumping up and down, throwing stuff everywhere. Just pandemonium and chaos just erupting from the neighborhood. The whole street knew we beat Sonic the Hedgehog. And that wasn't just because we went door to door to tell him our accomplishment. And it was, it was pretty impressive. Everybody was quite impressed. And you out there, don't act like you're not impressed with the Hedgehog. He's very impressive. I mean, of course, he's got the fly shoes that are actually based off of Michael Jackson's red shoes. And his personality is based off of Bill Clinton. Little facts that you might or might not have known. Yeah, I watched Did You Know Gaming, okay? Okay. I didn't know those either, but those are cool facts about Sonic. Another fun fact about hedgehogs that you might not know is one hedgehog, hence Sonic here, one hedgehog could have up to 500 fleas on him at one time. But these fleas rarely will bite humans, so we cannot use our flea powers to destroy Dr. Eggman. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. But at least we get free bites. Not as good as pizza bites, but we take what we can get, I guess, as a hedgehog. And a quick note, I did not get the big ring or the bonus that time because I didn't have 50 rings when I ended the episode. You cannot go backwards to go get rings or anything like that, I believe after a certain point in every level. I could be wrong. So we're not going to get the good ending, but I'll make sure and add that on. And no! No! Not the little chickadee! Although he seems to be lava-proof. How in the world is the little fuzzy chickadee lava-proof and poor big old awesome Sonic not? Come on! Come on, really? Oh, of course. Of course. Of course, the caterpillar of doom. Oh my goodness. I have been striken down by a flying rat, a robotic one, but things just didn't go right there. Everything was really weird after that chickadee ran through the lava. 
I mean, how did he survive? Just like, ha <laughs> Sonic, look at me go! <laughs> I'm all lava poop and you're not! I'm going to save the day! Watch him be at Robotnik right before we get there and him save all the creatures and then all of a sudden the futures change. The next game that comes out is Chickadee and Tails. And he like speaks like a super awesome action hero. Yeah, you can call me the rooster. I've gotten older. I'm lava proof. I got an AK-47. And that Eggman is about to get scrambled. Oh, you hens out there. You'll be laying my eggs in no time. Chickadee and Tails to the rescue. And poor old Sonic's just like riding a brick across the lava river saying, Oh, help me, help me. <laughs> oh man, I think we're better off with Sonic. Although having some of the woodland creature's powers would come in handy, such as the lava and the spike proof. Hmm, the AK-47 we can go without. They tried that with Shadow the Hedgehog and he didn't really get a warm reception. His, and his games were pretty terrible as well. That didn't help. <laughs> but this game... Classic, always good one, and this level, like I said before, I haven't played this like a ton. Well, recently I played it a bunch. Before I started recording this playthrough, I played through this game, I believe four times, and I beat it twice, almost three times out of the four times I played it. So this playthrough should go pretty well. I'm practiced up, I'm ready to go. I still don't know where everything is or what the right routes are, or I know which routes I kind of want to take, but if I'm gonna be able to take them all is the question because sometimes things just go wrong in Sonic games. And it's usually when you're kinda of out of control and then you fall into like some spikes or into one of those flying things shooting you. But the one up, that will help us out. If I wouldn't have died right away, I would have had six guys and we're gonna need all the guys we can get, believe me. So let's just enjoy our trek back here. Floating down the lava river, looking for some rings. Someday I'm gonna make it out and destroy that egg thing. He calls himself a man. He's more like a giant tuna can. And he's really mean with his bean machine. Changing all the woodland creatures into fighting machines. Yeah. Plus he's got a bloody nose and it's really weird and it's like all varicose and stuff. Add on to the song that didn't really fit in the melody, but had to be said, yes. So we're continuing on here. Finally off of the lava. What's this guy again? Yes, got him. Ha 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 ha. And it's the chickadee. Where are you going to go? Gonna go through walls. Another good power. I want to go through walls. I can't even hardly make it up this grassy knoll, let alone go through a wall. <laughs> These woodland creatures, they're powers. Yes. Oh yeah, these things, the little spinny things, for those of you guys that are new to Sonic games. If you are, I don't know where you have been the last 15, 20 years. But, if you are new, those are checkpoints. And hopefully I don't have to use him, them a lot. And hopefully I can just beat these. And look at this area here. This is like, Death City here. Although it's peaceful. It's peaceful and nice because we're like, outside STILL! And there goes my ability to hit things front on. I could roll into a ball, but... Things in this game kind of come out of nowhere at you all the time. So you don't really know exactly where they're going to come from and when they're going to appear. Like so, that was super close. I do have 70 rings. It would be nice to get a bonus run. So I'm going to be really, really careful. And hopefully make our way down here. It's weird that you get points for smashing blocks in this. It's like kind of like a dig at Mario. Because you would always get points in, for smashing blocks there. But this way, it's not so, I guess the objective of the game it's more like the rings you know you want to collect the rings points are kind of a secondary thing speed and rings are more important and what okay all right yeah all right this is good you can double stack shields these are the only two shields in this game the next couple games i believe i can't remember sonic 2 i haven't played it for a while i think they might have added uh another one in there but i know for sure sonic 3's got a couple different ones and then sonic and knuckles you got like the bubble one that makes you bounce up and down and then there's the lightning one that sucks in rings near you, which is pretty awesome. And it also hurts enemies. But this is like the classic shield right here. And is there anything to the left there? I don't think it's worth it. We're just going to keep going. And be careful. Oh yeah, when you look down, and when you look up in this game, you can scroll the screen. Is there anything? Ah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth dying with 83 rings. Although it's tempting. It's tempting. Oh my gosh, no! 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 I thought that was going to 
go up a little bit further. Apparently not. And we are at the end. Perfect. Oh yeah. Another chance at a Chaos Emerald. So we could make a three here. That would be pretty, pretty amazing. On one of my playthroughs that I did in the past, I made it through with four, and that was my best. So it's tough to get these. You have really no control over where you're going a lot of the times, because mostly you're ricocheting off every little thing in here. So if we can get away from that goal. Goals are not good. We want to at least pick up a hundred rings before we get out, so we can get a continue. Come on, come on. Uh oh. Just bounce around a little bit better, Sonic. Can we stop being in a ball? Seriously. Why do we have to be in a ball the whole time? We could just walk over there using our little legs. Instead, we're making it a lot harder on us by being in a ball and bouncing off the other ball things. Come on, Sonic. Use your brain. Although you are a hedgehog and you eat like snails and centipedes and stuff. Oh, look at this. We found it. How lucky. This is a tough one to get, though. It's all there, but there's a lot of diamonds that we have to break first and it's kind of in the wide open wow wow sir that was close Whew. felt my spines emerge out of my backside yes hedgehogs spikes they're called spikes if you guys haven't caught on to that yet and we should be able to get this here it's gonna turn on me though i'm not gonna be able to get it there but now it's exposed Although we can't get it, we need another diamond to go away. No! <laughs> ah! So close to another Chaos Emerald. So close. Just like that old saying. So close, but yet no Chaos Emerald. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for more Sonic. And I'll see you guys next time with Marble Zone 3. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, click the screen for more awesome videos over at BroBraz. Have a great day.